Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, welcome to the program chair. Does the time fly when you're having fun? Um, okay. Gee, this is the last one. Um, so, uh, it's traditional for me to give some statistics, and I thought it was best to do it at the end of the rock session. There's 163 papers, there are 28 people on the PC, some pity, there was 31 except for blah 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 blah, all boring stuff, yeah? Okay. Have some water. We had anonymous submissions, because our Lords and Masters said we should, because it's a good idea. The PC meeting was held in Bristol, Shy was a star, basically his software did all the work. Um, submission software and the teleconference were great. Okay, here's papers submitted by Origin. This is Origin of the communicating author as I kind of interpreted it from the uh, from, from, from their URL or, or just kind of like guessing. So about a quarter are from the USA. We then have Japan, France, China and so on and there's a lot of others. Um, actually, that's the submitted papers, papers accepted by origin of the first of the communicating author. So this is not, you know, this is the first who be asked to send the paper to me. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Israel. basically, mm -hmm. if you submit a paper, mm -hmm. make sure that the author from the USA is the one that actually submits it, because you have a much larger chance of being accepted if you do it like that. <laughs> then France, then Belgium, um, then, then some flat country, and then the most important country, okay? So that's some. So we did actually have some papers, okay? Uh, now. Okay, papers submitted by time. Now this is much more serious, okay? The problem we have is that about one third of the papers submitted are, I, I took all the papers and I kind of uh, put them into categories of whether I, should, I expected them to be, if they didn't make it to Eurocrypt and they thought, oh my god, it's not that good, I'll have to submit it to a crapper conference, where should I send it? Um, so I thought, well, would you submit, submit it to PKC, would you submit it to FSC, would you submit it to TACC, would you submit it to CHESS? About a third of the submissions are in the PKC camp. That's my subjective decision, okay? So it's not really... A reasonable number are in the TCC camp, FSE there's quite a lot in FSC. Uh, there's uh, NIS means not in scope. I mean, like, <laughs> right? They work crypto. But there's a very, very small portion that's in the chess area. And that's very worrying, okay? Because it means that there's less applied talks at Eurocrypt. And this also happens at the crypto. Uh, yeah. Alpha Mazes for his crypto did similar statistics and found the same. Same thing, so there's less submissions in the chess area. Now, I specifically went out and tried to get chess submissions, chess like submissions this time. Every chess like submission I gave to what I thought was a sympathetic set of referees, and we still got zero acceptances, which is, which is quite worrying. The acceptances I divided into the third PKC lot went a bit less, TCC. The theory, theoreticians seem to be doing very well. FSC, brilliant, right? You want to write a paper on hash functions, submit it, and you get it accepted. Hey, they're cool, they're hit, they'll get in, basically. Um, papers submitted by words and title. Um, well, less than five words, there's a huge amount, five to nine words, and then 10 to 14, a very small amount from 15 plus. Okay, if you want to see, that's the ones accepted. We go back. So basically, if you're in five to nine words, you've got a small chance of increasing your chances of being accepted. So the summary, <coughs> if you want to get a paper accepted next time, make sure your main author is from the US, or your communicating author is from the US. Um, do theory or symmetric crypto, no public key stuff. It's done, no one cares, it's just boring, you get rejected. Um, five to nine word title is slightly better, and as I say, there's some worrying trends in that there's very few chess like papers. Um, chess has increased in attendance year on year. They're very, very popular, and it seems to be coming separate from the rest of crypto. I find it's very worrying. It's something I try to address, and it's quite difficult to do so. Um, my suggestion for future call for papers is that we should state the following is that anybody who mentions 1,024-bit RSA or 160-bit ECC should be instantly rejected. 
um, this is, with AS1 trade's been around for ages, we have the missed recommendations, yet we still have huge numbers of academic papers who whitter on about 160-bit hash functions and 1,024-bit RSA, which is my personal moan. I, so I'd be rejecting those papers if, uh, if it was me. Um, okay, so what about some history? So I've told you what the statistics were for getting papers accepted at this conference. So we have a machine learning group in Bristol. So we took the, uh, and you can download the XML of the entire Springer series um, and, and analyze it. So we took out the important conferences, crypto, Europe, Asia, crypt, and we created a graph. The nodes were the people, and the edges are if two people have written a paper together. The main connected component, this is up to last year, the main connected component has about a thousand authors in it. What does this main connected component tell us about the community? The top 30 authors with highest degree go from Arjen, who has, uh, oops, that that's, thing's gone wrong. On my screen, it's lovely. Um, what's that, a Mac? Well, well that? done. <laughs> Cheap, cheap stuff, okay. Um, 43 connections, Ireland has 24 compared to 24 that you have, so there's 30 there. So basically, these are the promiscuous authors. They'll, they'll do a, a joint a, 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 a paper with anybody else, okay? If you want, the authors who have the shortest distance to everybody else in the main connected component, you get a very, very different set. So uh, Moti suddenly jumps up the top, um, you can't see Ireland there at all. Um, uh, and there's a bunch of, of other people, and uh, these are essentially the authors that seem to keep the community together. So, um, if you want to meet someone who keeps the community together, you uh, write a paper with one of these people. If you want to write a paper which just gets accepted, write a paper with one of these people. Okay? And that's historic data. If you can't get accepted, German craptology. <coughs> um, the new volume is out as of this month. Um, uh, it's volume five, it's now out, there's two invited talks in this volume. The invited talk is one from James Burkett, which was his run session talk at St. Petersburg on the Twiddly Ground Number Generator thing, and the other invited talk is the lovely uh, song from last year's Crypto, and um, we will clearly be inviting someone to submit another invited to talk to the crypto. It's going to be James Burkett again, so um, well done James for the funniest talk, clearly. And um, thank you, I've got one minute and I'm not going to be water pistol, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Nigel. So we're now on to the closing ceremony. If I want to win my bet with Alex, I've got to keep it short. Um, I think we have a... Well, I'm not my wrong watch. <laughs> we didn't agree which trusted time source we were going to use for the experiment, so uh, I think I win by default. So I'd like to take a quick vote on who should get the prize for the best talk. Uh, my nominations are... So shout if you like the paper when I read it out. My nominations are uh, David Nakash for Machine Telepathy. Or Telepathy or something. Yeah. Okay, my other nomination is uh, Nick Howgrove Graham for Entry Encrypt the Teenage Years. <laughs> Get less support there, okay. And my third nomination is um, Clouds Not, oh, sorry, James Burkett and Gavin Watson for the Traveling Cryptographers Problem. Yeah. Okay, pretty clear there. So, uh, James, have a mug. Okay, <laughs> thanks everyone, that's the end. Thanks for coming. See you next time.